Hello everyone, Sam Huggins here, and today I have a bit of a different video for you. So I've been playing Magic for many numbers of years now, and one thing I have never done, however, is walked into my local Dollarama and spent $2.50 of my hard-earned Canadian money to buy a 50-pack of randomized Magic the Gathering trading cards. Now, all Magic cards have some intrinsic value on the second-hand market, and so each of these cards is, in theory, worth something. In fact, the whole pack might be worth more than the $2.50 I spent on it. So we're going to go through each and every card in the pack and look at its TCG player market value. TCG player is one of the most popular secondhand markets for Magic the Gathering cards. And they have a market value, which is its estimated value and the average price it sells for in US dollars. Now, because I purchased this pack in Canadian dollars, so also on screen you'll see the value of the card in Canadian dollars and how it's contributing to, against our total of $2.50. Now, as you'll see, the vast majority of the cards are common or sometimes occasionally an uncommon card. These are cards that appear very frequently in booster packs or in core set cards that are intrinsic to the game. A lot of these cards are worth pennies at most there's a couple standouts that are commons that are worth 10 to 20 cents but there's nothing that really will blow you away the majority of the cards so far have been from more recent sets um dating from around 2008 to modern day but occasionally there's a couple older white border cards sprinkled into the mix as well now we're only a little over halfway through the 50 cards that we got from dollarama but you'll see that $2.50 has already turned into value. So, I mean, I can't really say much, but I'm liking where this is going. Here we came across three foil gray pelt hunters, which greatly added to our total, which was very helpful. And we've already surpassed the $2.50 in US dollars and far exceeded our value in Canadian dollars. So we are cash positive already which is really great to see now as we get to the last 10 to 15 cards in the pack i'm not sure that we're gonna make a whole lot of money here Ooh, a 41 cent card however definitely raises our total a great bit there's always a chance when you dig through these packs of random cards from random heirs of magic you might pull something that used to be worth nothing and was worth nothing when it was put in this pack but has risen in value due to the meta shifting or a new deck coming to light but at the end of the day, we didn't pull anything like that. And instead, we finished with a total value of our pack at just around $4.27 US or $5.51 Canadian, which is over doubling the $2.50 we spent on it. So the question is, should you go to your local Dollarama and buy a randomized pack of 50 cars? I'm not saying no. Thanks for watching.